Multiple possessions have been the story of the game, and even with the big lead, this team continues to be quicker to the ball. Irving attacking. That is good. Irving's got six. Really good awareness right there on the assist. Brooks kicks to Redick. We've got 28 seconds left here in the third quarter. Carroll passes to Morning. Brooks with no one around. Cans it from downtown. 12 points for him. And they clearly are just destroying this group right now from the three-point line. Yeah, and the defense knows it. I mean, they are fully stretched out trying to stop the three-point shot and still haven't been able to do it. Jacks up a three. Thompson with the rebound. Morning kicks to Brooks. Over to the wing. Carroll for three. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth quarter. It's Detroit up by five. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. All right, the fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great one so far with both sides coming to play. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. On the floor for Detroit, we've got DeMarcus Cousins. Clay Thompson is out there with Kyrie Irving. Then there's Kyle Corvo, and it's Brzingis in at the four spot. The drive by Thompson. Got a hand on it. Takes the three. No good. So Atlanta will take it the other way. From deep. But they recover it. Tough play underneath to give them another shot. Mozgov dishes to Billups. Here's Fox. Over Thompson. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. And you can just see by the way he fought for the putback that he's still got a lot of gas in the tank. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive, Greg. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. It's been a solid outing for Thompson. He has 12 points, and he's got two baskets from out in three-point land. <laughs> and I'm sure they'd like to get a few more of those out of him. And it's tied up with that one. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Here's Cousins. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. 11 points here for Cousins. That coverage is just too weak. I mean, head down the stretch, that sort of defensive lapse can cost you a game. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Kevin, Greg Popovich was just going over the plan with his team. He is not happy with their perimeter defense, saying, guys, way too many open shots for them beyond the three-point line. We've got to press up closer and try to crowd them off the arc. Guys, we'll see if they got the message. For three, Bonner. You know, even though he missed that one, great shooters have a way of feeling when they've got enough room to pull the trigger. No doubt about it. The defense, you can see him exhaling right now. Fortunate that he didn't knock that one down. And it's official. They have come all the way back. At one point, this thing seemed to be out of reach. I did not think they had enough clock to get all the way back. But here they are. And now they've got to feel like they're in control of this thing. And Chauncey Billups gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. And Detroit has possession. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Persingas has got 19 points. And he's had an excellent performance overall from the field. Phillips, no good. Some of the shots he's taken have been real head scratchers. I mean, come on. He's out there playing like it's a game of horses at the park. A, a, a tough first half, but it's been a different story here since the break. And here's Thompson after Kyle Korver hitting the three. 
It'll go, and the Detroit lead is cut back down to two at those points from Clay Thompson. And the crowd is loving this long-range bomb attack that we're seeing here tonight, coming right back to answer a three with one of their own. Unbelievable couple of possessions here, Greg. I mean, the energy in here really starting to boil. And that one's good. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. The Atlanta making some changes. Morning comes in for Moscow. And for Reed's subbed in for Bonner. Here's Irving. The dish to Thompson. Outside Corver. Nobody near Irving. The offensive rebound. 141 left in the game. Here's Fox. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead. Inside. Now the pass to Persingas. On the wing, Irving. Tipped away. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. Thompson again. Fox. To the inside. Morning. Hops loose off the pick and hammers it home. What a turnaround. Sensational play on D and then the rapid fire run to the basket. Craig, they didn't wait around, did they? They went right for the throat. Guys, this is crunch time now. When you've got a chance to capitalize on the turnover, you've got to take it and make it. Porzingis can't hit. Here's Atlanta. The lead is two. It falls. He is just tearing it up this quarter. That lead's not going anywhere while he's this high. The drive by Cousins. And that's out of bounds. Detroit will retain possession. Out of bounds. 46 seconds left to play here in the fourth. And that's out of bounds. Detroit will retain possession. Intentional foul. They can more or less wrap it up right here. This has to be a very smart possession. At the one. Johnson. Gets the first, and that puts them up by five. Two shots. And a tough break as his second attempt at the line. No good. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Yes! And he has brought them to within two points. Oh, man, what a shot. He hit that one from another time zone. You just watch him pull up always so dangerous. Thompson from long range. And it's still within reach. But they have to be really close to perfect from here on out. I mean, they have to get their offense right on target, right on point, immediately. So the first one drops, and that narrows the gap to one. And so DeMarcus Cousins nails both of them. He is absolutely the guy you want at the line in that situation. It just shows you how much he loves these moments. Atlanta calls timeout. The score is tied at 76. There's 10 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Phillips up top. Fareed the pass to Fox. To win it. Oh, it's off the ball. Regulation is ended and we're heading to overtime. And we'll return shortly. Overtime just ahead. Jump ball right around the corner. So Atlanta will get the first possession. And so they have the first opportunity on offense right here as we begin overtime. 
All fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here. Brought to us by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. On the court for Atlanta. Brooks is up there with J.J. Redick. Then there's Kenneth Fareed. Then there's Morning. And it's Fox in at the three spot. Here's Persingas. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Persingas has got 21 in the game. Really good work on the interior. That is a critical two points there. That was an ideal scenario really for him. Point blank range and also a size advantage. Brooks kicks to Fareed. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. And that's how it's done. I mean, find that hole in the D and then go hard to the right. Maybe that hole was a little bigger than it should have been. Well, it was. I mean, a tight game like this one, you think they'd have a little more energy at the defensive end than that. Detroit trails by three. Here's Corver. And Morning sends it back. Shoots the three. Fox, no good. Detroit with the ball. Corver gets a wide open look. Corver missing again. Atlanta calls timeout. They're leading by three. 143 left in the first overtime. Action has been terrific. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for Atlanta. Billups comes in for Brooks. And a switcher also for Detroit. Kerr's checked in for Clay Thompson. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's foul number two for him. About 90 seconds off the clock here in the extra period. Billups goes in. Cousins with the block. Fareed dishes to Billups. Morning. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Room service delivery right there, fellas. Wonderful entry fee. They get the rebound. Here's Persingas. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Persingas has got 24 points. Just look at what a sniper he is from long range. He's got such an unusual skill for a big fella. And it's tonight. And they get it back. I can't figure out, guys, what's going on with him this quarter. I mean, he hasn't gotten one shot to drop. And the wide open shot from Billis. And got hung up on the dunk. Not quite enough elevation there, I guess. The drive by Cousins. Here's Irving. Connects. He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. Kyrie Irving has simply caught five. Billups kicks to Morning. Dishes to Fareed. Let's it go from 11. He sinks the clutch free throw. Can't sink it. And that was an important free throw. And you can sense that the pressure might have gotten to him a little bit, but he did do enough to put them in the lead. Cousins, no good. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. They honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. That's a good foul, though. I like that. I mean, clock management crucial at this time of the game. Now a timeout called by Detroit. They trailed by two. 15 seconds left to play in the first overtime. What's your take, guys? You know what? You can go for the three to win or the two to tie. What's your choice in a situation like this, Clark? Well, I don't think you set that decision in stone and anchor it in in this timeout. You see how things play out. You're going to try to get a good, quick shot. And if it's a good three with a good shooter, let it fly. If it's something in the paint, then you take that. But it's about being a good, quick shot in this situation. First free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. So again.